Come with me to a place of wondrous contradictions. A place that is silent and unstirring, yet restless and alive. A place of untold peace and boundless dread. Come with me into the very cradle of darkness, where those who dwell, dwell alone. Unfortunately, Andrew Poe has a clandestine encounter. A late night date with guilt inside a hospital room, which, as we all know, is a safe place to be, don't we? It's about time. I've been calling and calling. Yes, we know. Look, doctor, please. Would you tell me what's going on? I mean, I, I woke up in this hospital room. I, I don't know how I got here. And where's my wife? Has anybody even contacted her? Think hard, Andrew. What do you recall? The last thing I remember, I... Uh... I had to go away. It was far away. It was for work. I'm a scientist. Yes, we know all that. Think harder, Andrew. Why are you here? I, I don't know. I can't remember. Why are you here? <laughs> Look, this is ridiculous. I, I don't know what the hell's going on, but all I know is I feel fine. Are you sure about that? Getting out of here. Go ahead. Run away. You're good at that, aren't you? What is this? Who are you? My God. D? Good. Your memory's returning. But why are you dressed like that? You're not a doctor. I'm not a lot of things anymore. I'm getting out of here. Not until you admit what you've done. But I haven't done anything. Is that one of your scientific rationalizations? If people die, it couldn't be your fault because you tried your best? You can't get rid of me, Andrew. Leave me alone. I'll always be with you. No. You'll never have peace. Get away from me or I, I swear I'll... What? Kill me? You wouldn't want that on your conscience, would you? There's no escape out there, Andrew. Only endless night, cold and black. There is no sanctuary from what you've done. Not here, not anywhere. No, no, no! There's nothing to be afraid of. Scott? This is a dream. A nightmare. None of this is real. I'm not here to frighten you, Andy. Just to help you remember. Remember what? I didn't do anything! If only that were true. Now you are frightening me. What you're afraid of is that all your training and diligence is a lie. 
How else could such a man of action sit passively while others suffer? How else to explain your helplessness in a time of crisis? Why are you doing this to me? We were always so close, all those months we spent together. All the more reason to take responsibility. Face the consequences of your actions. We relied on you, Andy. And you abandoned us. No! And now it's your turn to be left alone. The hell with you. I still have my wife, Lisa, my friends, my world. None of you can take that away from me. What? What's happening? Carl, what do you want? What do you all want? Carl, what the hell's wrong with you? You always spoke your mind. Look, whatever it is you think I've done, haven't I gone through enough? Why won't any of you tell me what's going on? Talk to me! Say something! <laughs> everybody somebody answer me Andy Lisa it's you it's really you oh, honey I thought I'd never see you again. No, don't leave. I wasn't the one who left, Andy. Don't you remember? I told you the mission was too dangerous, but you wouldn't listen. The mission? You said it was the chance of a lifetime, more important than anything, even us. Nothing is more important than us, Lisa. I know that now. It's no use, sweetheart. You're too far away. Well, what do you say? I'm right here. Goodbye, Andy. I'll never forget you. No. I love Lisa, you. Lisa, wait, don't go. I'll always love you. Please, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be left alone! We told you before, Andy. You'll never be alone. We're bound together. I remember everything now. The mission. The accident. How we all died. Not all of us, Andy. Not yet. I'm sorry. I, I tried my best. I didn't know what else to do. And that cost us our lives. You know that now, don't you, Andy? Scientists or not, a civilian should never have been put on this mission. But now you're part of it. I can't breathe. Forever. <coughs> For all time.
Andy. Breathe deep. Good. Relax. You're all right now. How long was I out for? A minute, maybe two. God, it felt like a lifetime. I had the weirdest dream. You guys were all there. And you were blaming me like I let you down. Not true. Who do you think put out the fire? A meteorite hit our engine housing. I'd say that's a little out of your purview. In the dream, you guys said that, that I was responsible for killing you. You need to focus on what's happening here, now. Be honest with me, Scott. Are we gonna get home? If you stay calm and focused, you have a good shot. Good job. Why'd you just stand there? Why didn't you help me? You had the extinguisher, Andy. How far out are we? Halfway back from Mars. In crippled condition, it'll take three months to reach Earth. The solar flare disruption is lessening. We should have contact with Houston shortly. Oh, good, great. Maybe they can help us. Andrew, listen to me. No matter what happens, I want you to know I have faith in you. You can do this. <laughs> What do I know? I mean, I'm just a biochemist. Andrew! What was that? Look at me. Stay focused. Stay in control. But if those are more meteorites... They're not meteorites. What was that? Andrew, think. Don't panic. As long as you're here, I won't. What's going on? Mars Mission Venture, this is Houston Control to your read. Repeat, Mars Mission Venture. I'm here. Thank God, Andrew. Are you all right? I killed them. I, I killed them all. No, you didn't. We've been through this before. They're dead, Houston. I didn't open the hatch to let them in. Andrew, you couldn't open it. When they rotated the engine housing back in place after the meteorite hit, it jammed the hatch mechanism. Do you understand? There was nothing you could do. I should have found a way. I know this is tough, but you have to stay calm <laughs> That's what the others told me. At least I thought they did. We're doing everything we can, Andrew. But there appears to be a lot of damage. <laughs> Tell me about it. Our chief concern is the ionized fuel compressor. The engine's diagnostic but without the IFC unit. You can't bring me back. We're doing what we can. I'm gonna die out here, aren't I, Houston? You have plenty of oxygen, food, and water. But I'm drifting away. I could die out here, couldn't I? We need time to work on the problem, Andrew. Stay calm. Houston out.
How much do you love her, Andy? Enough to do what it takes. In order to see her again? Am I dead? Am I dead? No. You're very much alive. But you're not. Because of me? You're beating yourself up over nothing. We knew we wouldn't be able to get back inside if we fixed the housing. Then why did you go out there? Because it's better for one of us to survive than none. But if the IFC unit isn't working and, and Houston can't bypass it? You can. Me? I don't know the first thing about it. I, I don't even know where it is. You're sitting right in front of it. Get the tools, Andy. Good. Good. Now clip both red wires and then remove the circuit board. I can't do this. You've got to. Time is running out. You have to cannibalize non-essential systems to get this one to work. Will it work? We can only hope. You did everything you could, Andy. But the power's still dead. It's time. We have to go. But wait. You can't leave me now. Whatever happens, we're proud of you. No, don't go. Goodbye, Andrew. just fine now. We have control of your capsule, Andrew. We're bringing you home. It's a six-week journey back, Andrew. So we'll be with you every step of the way. I'll be fine, Houston. I'm not alone. I never was. Amid the ruins of Mars Mission Venture, there are successes large and small. For its one survivor, the worst has been avoided, the mantle of guilt lifted. Proof beyond the shadow of a doubt that the coldest, darkest space is inside our mind.